of Nintendo. Nintendo started as a playing card company, then they entered the game industry with the Nintendo Color TV game series. Released on January 1st, 19 the first one was really the first one named The Block Breaker. It was made on January 1st, 19, 19, 19, 1977. And it was ex and the se and the series was exclusive to Japan. Nintendo Game and Watch series, nineteen eighty to nineteen ninety one. Really? Where? Wh where it was released? World Ride. World. It was all. This one was the first one to be released worldwide. No, seriously, it was released worldwide this time. Great job, Nintendo. You finally. Cut the eye of the American audience. Nintendo Famicom Family Computer. Released on July 13th, 1983 in Japan. Now in America, video games were all but dead. Now video games were all but dead in America, but Nintendo revived it with the Nintendo Entertainment System. Released on October 18th, 1985. In North America. Then the Famicom Disk System became a thing. Released on February 21st, 1986 in Japan. And you know what? It was just too expensive. It, it, it didn't sell very well because it was just way too expensive. And so were the discs. This were also very expensive. So no one really bought it. And you know that? The Zel that Zelda... You, you was originally designed for the Famicom. Did you know that in Japan, also in Japan, the Legend of Zelda is actually for the Famicom disc system and isn't actually a cartridge? Crazy, right? It was only released in Japan, too, so yeah. Not the game, the, the, the Famicom disc system. Bonus! Sharp Twin Famicom, released on July 1st, 1986, in Japan. Bathroom break. Pause the video if you need to go to the bathroom. Nintendo Game Boy, released on July, on July, 30, on July 31st, 1989, in Worldwide. It was a massive success, making, making many more versions of it, for, exa for example... The Nintendo Game Boy Pocket, released on July 21st, 1996, worldwide. The, the Nintendo Game Boy Lite, released on July 21st, 1998, worldwide. And now there's the Nintendo Super Famicom, released on, on November 21st, 1990, in Japan. Then the SNES became a thing, uh, on August th 23rd. 1991 worldwide. Then there is a Super Game Boy released on June 1994. Eh, it was basically just so that you could play your Game Boy games on your SNES. So it was so you would stick your Game Boy cartridge in, then you'd stick the Super Game Boy in into your SNES. You could play your Game Boy game on your SNES. It was pretty cool, but not very popular. And it was only released in Japan. Nintendo Satellaview, April 23rd, 1995, in Japan only. Nintendo Virtual Boy, released on August 16th, 1995, worldwide. Let me just tell you this. This is why I've never mentioned the Virtual Boy on any other episode on my channel, other than the previous version of this episode, is because we don't like to talk about the Virtual Boy here. It was it was not very popular, and it was a horrible. V and it, it was a great concept, and it led to VR. It was a great concept, and led to V and led to modern day VR. But still, that doesn't mean it wasn't the best system ever. There were better ones out there, and this one just wasn't very popular. That's why we don't talk about it.
much on this channel because we don't like it. Nintendo 64 is on June. 23rd 1996 worldwide i actually have one of these and let me tell you this is one of the best cons best old school consoles out there i mean it is amazing nintendo game boy color released on november 18th 1998 this is another one of the peripherals peripheral this is another one of the versions of the game boy it was released worldwide on November 18th, 1998. Nintendo Game Boy Advance, March 21st, 2001, worldwide. Nintendo GameCube, released on September 14th, 2001, where worldwide. Nintendo Game Boy Player, that, that, it, it, this was just a peripheral, a peripheral for a GameCube that allowed you to play your Game Boy games on the game. On the game, on the GameCube, sounds familiar. It should, because of the Super Game Boy. You it allowed you to play Game Boy games on your SNES, and that's why it sounds familiar because they're exactly the same, basically. Okay. But anyways, it was released on June twenty fourth, two thousand three, in North America. Now. This is the Game Boy Advance XP, released on March 23rd, 2003, worldwide. Then the Nintendo DS, released on November 21st, 2004, worldwide. Again, Nintendo Game Boy Micro, released on September 2005, worldwide. Nintendo Wii, released de December 2nd, 2006, worldwide. Nintendo DS Lite. November 1st, 2008, worldwide. Nintendo DSi. I actually have a DSi. And I actually have that exact same color with a camera and everything. I, I use, I, I, I don't, I'm pretty much the only reason why I have it is because my mom gave it to me. And so that I can play Super Mario 64 DS and, well, Nintendogs. But either way, it was released on November 21st, 2009, worldwide. Nintendo DSi XL. Now, I don't really want this one. Even though it's exactly the same, and it has better internet capabilities, I still just don't want it. Because I already have a regular DSi. It was released worldwide. Nintendo 3DS. Released on March 27, 2011 in the U.S. And U.S. only. Which is dumb. Because I think the whole world should be able to experience this. It, well, I don't actually have one, but still. Nintendo 3DS XL. Released on March 27, 2011 in the U.S. <sighs> you know, talk. I don't like... I don't want a 3DS. They're, I don't want a 3DS XL either. Because I already have a DSi. Nintendo Wii U. Released on November 18th, 2012. Worldwide. I like the Wii U. This is one of the consoles that I want. Just like the GameCube. Nintendo New 3DS. Released on October 11th, 2014. In the U.S. Just still, I'm not getting it. Do I do like the colored buttons, though. Nintendo New 3DS XL. Again, like the colored buttons. It was on October 11, 2014 in the U.S. And now the Nintendo NES Classic. Released on November 10th, 2016 in North America. Nintendo Switch. Released on March 3rd, 2017. Worldwide. Now, this console is crazy. It's it's a tablet. Which actually, it's a portable game console. A regular game console. With, with, with like the Wii, kind of, with like the Wii type classic. With like a, with, with the classic controller. Or new, and then a Switch. Joy-Con docking port, aka controller. 
or aka one player controller, two Joy Cons that allow for two player, and uh, this is amazing, I need it. And a, do a docking port that's also a char, and there's even a charging station for 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 the portable con for when it's a portable con for the portable content console tablet screen. <laughs> wow. And now the Nintendo SNES Classic, released on September 29, 2017, worldwide. But yeah, but now there's the Nintendo Switch Lite, released on September 20th, 2019, worldwide. So, thanks for watching. Make sure to go good buttons.